Pero dice que fue en 2015, cuando el presidente Nicolás Maduro tuvo que estabilizar los precios de la comida. This time he arrived in Qatar to review agreements with Qatari officials. Both countries have held uh, diplomatic relations 49 years ago. At this time, um, Qatari officials are going to make an official uh, welcome to President Maduro. Bien, aquí vamos de apreciar este acto solemne, un recibimiento histórico. And we were watching these images of the arrival of President Nicolás Maduro Moros to Qatar as he was received by the Emir Sheikh Tamik bin Ahmad Al Tanis, who also is upholding this upcoming, this welcoming ceremony at the official and the highest level. We were listening to both national anthems, the one of Venezuela and the one from the state of Qatar. As we know, this visit is part of the president of Venezuela's international tour by the region and also trying to bolster and trying to enhance these bilateral relations with allied countries, mostly founding countries of the OPEC plus uh, organization, these exporting oil countries and producing oil countries that are trying to bolster their relationships in the context of the international situation with the energy sector, the energy markets, and also several um, multipolar issues, geopolitical issues in this case, facing the U.S. sanctions, the U.S. pressure, and the conflicts between Russia and Ukraine. The president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros, also is trying to enhance bilateral relations in several fields as we know and as he has declared and this the field of oil production technology also finance investment economy agriculture a very important sector for both countries and 
and also the culture and education. In the trade and financial systems, Venezuela is trying to get a better place, get a better position, and she needs, the country needs, in this case, um, needs um, to bolster and to enhance itself and to get support from allied countries. Also, as we know, in agriculture, uh, Venezuela is producing.